All right, guys, back here in the wheat field. There's a good one there. Two good ones right there. And another good one right here. This is where that one was jumping on the trap so hard yesterday. And this one's trying to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, let's see if we can get these dude loaded up.
not even that big. It's a jumping bean right there. All right, let's get set up on these other ones. All right, guys, starting our next ones. See, because that knucklehead in here blocking me. See what we can do with it. These are really good ones right there. All right, this one here. This little guy right here, we ain't little, little, but he turned this whole big trap around. It was facing that way, now it's facing this way. But it's amazing how tough these little dudes are. Ha 
tie this into the tube. I just don't like losing them. Because of all this work and then lose them. And it's no fun. At all. No fun at all to lose them. kind of balance when to shock and when not to because a lot of times they'll turn right around on you and uh or it might help him boost him up in there and he was right at the he almost wanted to back up but uh they're almost all exact same size look at that probably well it'd be really close to 100 i'm gonna say 80 to 100 and that that down there he might be like a 110 or something that's fat probably pregnant sow but uh anyway uh somebody was commenting you know about what it'd be like if they uh mated with a tame hog well i think anytime we got color like this it's probably their cross somewhere down the years i don't know when or how but uh and then we get white ones uh hamps with, the, with just a stripe on them be all red like a do rock i think it's what a red i think that's a do rock in it and uh he's got like a little bit shorter noses the longer the nose and the darker the hair uh, i think they're probably more purebred wild but uh anyway he gave himself a haircut on the trap didn't he anyway let's get out of here and go check some more traps real quick and uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, hope you had a great Easter. Let's let's get after the hogs. I got some in the trap I put way over east. I'm not sure how many I got in there, 11 or 12 something. Last night, I moved a trap to the feed lot and I caught one drop, I caught 27. 20 of them were little. <laughs> not, they weren't this big, but uh, anyway, I'll try to get that on there. Let's head to the other trap.